I remember when the I-35 bridge collapsed in Minneapolis. I'm from Minnesota, I remember this very distinctly. And I remember my colleagues in the engineering profession talking about how there was going to be this overwhelming amount of traffic congestion. The I-35 bridge was a major corridor through Minneapolis. And so without this bridge, there was this assumption that traffic congestion would just be unbearable for a long period of time throughout Minneapolis. That's not what happened. There wasn't an overwhelming, stifling amount of congestion. And for a very clear and simple to understand reason, because traffic is dynamic. Think of your own behavior. If you get up in the morning and you wanna go somewhere, uh, do you go during rush hour? No, you generally try to avoid rush hour if you can. If you're gonna to run to the store just for something quick, you might do it after rush hour, you might get up, go before. If you've gotta get somewhere long distance and you know you're gonna be traveling during rush hour, you might leave a little bit early and arrive at your destination a little bit early to give yourself a little bit of buffer. We all adjust our behavior based on what we anticipate traffic to be. That is a dynamic response. And so when the I-35 bridge came down, people responded dynamically. They took the bus, they carpooled, they took different routes, they went at different times, they responded dynamically. When engineers do traffic modeling, their models all assume non-dynamic behavior for people. They take out the human factor and they treat people as mere algorithms that just respond in a very linear fashion. Because of this, we tend to over-design, over-build, over-engineer our roadways. We project more capacity than we actually have the need for. This is again, one of those things that people within the profession don't really question because the results of these projections are kind of self-reinforcing. They actually create demand for more engineering. This is the wrong way to go about things. Engineers need to acknowledge first and foremost that traffic is dynamic and that they do not have algorithms or understandings of how humans are going to respond dynamically. My name is Chuck Marone and that is my confession.